All right, this is Robert Porsche with the YouTube channel Truth. We've got the moon setting at uh, 7.25. And I just wanted to go ahead and show you that. The sunrise was just a few minutes ago. And it's going to appear in that area. If you're watching this right now live, it's on Facebook. And then later on, I will upload it to other platforms. I update my deep learning AI research library often. I do that so people can make an informed choice on reality. It's an apparent choice. I do believe in the sovereignty of God, the Almighty. He's large and in charge. And welcome. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. I know I do. So a lot of times I'll be on the beach uh, for sunrise. It's beautiful. And yet I want to show you something. In the, in the summer, the sun appears way over here and then will set over there. And today, uh, the, the sun will vanish over in that vantage point. There's a lot of... Uh, oh, and in the winter, the sun will appear over here. Huh. How about that? So where the sun and the moon appear and vanish on the horizon indicates conclusively that they are moving above this stationary and level plane. It's not actually flat. It's stationary and level. And I watched a video last night. It was great. Lucky Haskins was talking about we don't need to uh, to prove what the how this all actually works out, what we when we've proved conclusively that the narrative is deceptive, that they're lying. They're supposed to be the the smartest people in the room, uh, NASA and the theoretical physicists and all that, and they've got it wrong, obviously. All right. So this is uh, Cloverleaf Drive going this direction. They resurfaced it a little while ago. So it's uh, Cloverleaf and Virginia Pine. I've got all my, or most of my lights on in the house right now. They're LED grow lights helping to create oxygen. Huh, look at that, the neighborhood watch sign right there. So does the truth matter? I would say absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to show you something here I think is pretty cool. Looks like the school bus is coming. You'll see them in a little bit. I just saw one of their lights. Okay. That's the original truth mobile right there. Uh, here they come. For their indoctrination. They're brainwashing. Yeah, I said it. I'm not kidding about any of that. So they'll drive on by. Hundreds of cars a day will drive on by here. They're getting loaded up. We've got blended families. We've got grandparents raising children because, hey, the parents checked out. They decided that meth, crack, coke, heroin, or that little thing down the way, uh, man or woman, got their fancy and they decided to leave their responsibilities and go after strange pleasure. Oh well, wow. drug addiction, alcoholism, and outright stupidity. All of that. Here they go. Ah, so this is part of the hydrologic cycle. The evaporation, condensation, perspiration, respiration, the dew point, all of these moving parts are reality. So we've got people that are reality and truth deniers. If you know of anybody else that's got a truth mobile other than me, let me know. I had one. Uh, one globalist stop on by and say, you went from a Lexus to a Prius. I'm like, yeah, it rocks. It's, it's a generator. 
it's an electrical generator on wheels is what it is in a grid down situation which we will probably have at some point in time I can run my freezers and whatever electricity I absolutely need if I want a climate controlled area I can climb in the car in the garage and have the exhaust vented out the attic I've got a video in my library showing how a young man there's a whole subculture camping culture using Priuses if I took my lettering off of there I could blend right in I don't want to be a blending in at all this is way too important um, so are you or somebody you know a narcissist I was one I'm a recovering narcissist how about that I'm actually a born-again Christ follower not afraid to live die or tell the truth I'm not afraid to upset people because they're gonna be upset anyway right that's what I found out a lot of people are ready to just be pissed off all the time and then they're in a hurry they're in a hurry they're in a hurry to be upset they've got what's termed confirmation bias they want to find what they want to believe evidence or proof for what they want to believe okay so one of the other things I want to show you this is here so somebody could say hey does the truth guy live here well yeah I do absolutely what's the number 169 do cloverleaf drive 29568 if that's helpful for you I'm an enemy of the state I'm telling on them I'm exposing the truth about everything that I've found out about so far and I invite people's feedback to let me know if you think I've missed something or got it wrong now that in in the Beamer looked like a couple of senior high school very attractive young ladies it's easy to spot they're easy to spot the uh, the pretty people um, I don't know what their situation is I I have given my cards out to different people when I've driven a lot of people thousands and thousands so if you should see me driving down the road um, you, you would see me in either one of these I'm not afraid for you to see my license or where I live or any of that okay uh, here's one of the other things let's um, take a look at this this is intentionally here to be a little off-putting if somebody has to come on up and talk to me well they can give me a call imagine in the years gone by with the pandemic and people saying yeah we just want to talk to you to see to check you out <laughs> see if you're okay yeah I'm okay my plants are okay um, so one of the things I've got a lot of plants in the house uh, generating electricity oh, not electricity they're taking electricity from the from the lights their grow lights their LED grow lights and the sunshine okay so the uh, the earth is like I say stationary and level she's a not a moving you can't have a wind chime hanging upside down or sideways or any of that so we've got reality deniers I'm telling on them it could be Elon Musk you can tell it's real because it looks so fake Elon come on okay so you can't have stuff hanging upside down in relationship to other stuff how about the narcissist what do they look like well Chris Reese did um, quite a few videos on that um, in the truth community and in the world at large we've got selfish people wanting to do their own thing oh well that's basically how it is that's how it was for me I just it was all about me it was all about this is what I want to do and now I'm a man driven by purpose purpose to expose the truth to everybody I can about what I found out about so we can see the the moon vanishing from this vantage point as the Sun gets closer it will it will be invisible to us 725 
from this vantage point in South Carolina, it'll be gone. You won't be able to see it. And it looks like the sun is going to appear right over there. There's what they're terming the final experiment. Um, shipping some people to, uh, I, would, I wouldn't be going um, to Antarctica to see the sun. Um, to see the sun as somehow that's supposed to expose the globe, the globe being real. I'm exposing the global lie. The truth and reality exposes the global lie. Very unpopular. People want to believe what they want to believe. So this car has been at all the different Flat Earth International conferences. Good morning. And economically, it's, it's a V8, so to, uh, to use this engine to charge my cell phone wouldn't make sense. This car turns on and off, has a big generator, takes, uh, it's got regenerative braking, gets about 50 miles per gallon in the city. This one gets about 12 now. It's old and tired and there's some electrical problems, but she can get up and go just fine. It just burns up a lot of gas. So this is way more economical, and what it's done is change the way that I can do what I do. So I can go to the beach for a while, and then I can come on home and manage my deep learning artificial intelligence research library, which is comprehensive, continually being updated by me and YouTube. Not Susan Wojcicki, apparently she moved on, had lung cancer and died. I think she was 57. Wow, I'm 63. Do I look 63? I don't look 63. I look a lot younger than 63. I'm a lot healthier than I used to be. So I was spiritually deader than a hammer and didn't know it. I've got um, the need to be born of the Holy Spirit is what happened to me, I, I was made an offer I couldn't refuse. I didn't want to. So I believe in the doctrine of election, predestination, meaning the Almighty determines who His children are, where we're going to live, when we're going to be born, all of that. We don't decide. There's things we can know, and then there's things we can think we know. <laughs> Is that true? What's our, what's our actual situational awareness. How accurate is it? So now, over here I can see direct light, direct sunlight hitting the side of the building there. That's how that works. And now, there we've got the moon once again. It's a 99% moon right now, or 98, something like that. Whoa, okay. So let's see if we can, if I can't see direct sunlight on, I have to go somewhere where I see direct sunlight to show you the sun. I could walk on down the way, but that's not what I'm going to do right now. <clears throat> I'm going to take us for a ride. I wanted to show you, uh, right now we've got flooding in the area. Um, some roads were closed. I went to a defensive driver training program yesterday. Learned some really important things. Look at how green the grass is. How nice is that? Condensation on the windows because, well, they're not as insulated as I'd like them to be. They are thermal, thermal panes. This is what the backyard looks like now. Oh, there's some direct sunlight right there. How about that? That's the sun right there. Doesn't like to zoom out so good. So I just flip it around. Now, the thing about this pond, I've uh, rescued turtles and frogs and all of that and set them loose in here. Uh, about five years ago, we had water up to, I believe, this tree here. 
which was about a foot from being in my living room. Now, it was 10 o'clock at night. Emergency rescue people were in our neighborhood saying, by 4 in the morning, you're going to have 5 feet of water in your, in your house. Well, they were wrong. But Joni and I had a lot of stuff to accomplish in a short time, and it was one of those uh, conversations that was a little tense, as I'm sure you can imagine. So that's kind of how that works out. We've got relationships that are strained and broken and dissolved all around us. And why is that? Well, we're born with the sin nature, and then, by the grace of God, he can give us new life, and does. Uh, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to, that's the primary reason why my channel is called Truth. It's truth on Odyssey, it's truth on YouTube. If you were to Google my name, or my phone number, you would find a lot of content that you may find useful. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see what this looks like here. I wear the lanyard now instead of a, a shirt labeled up. And I can put it on, take it off if I care to. That works out really well. Okay, so let me um, let me show you something here. This shows the state of my battery. That'll charge up. Um, so in a grid down situation, this car has a, a folding back seat. It'll fold down, and it's huge. I can lay down in here. I could if I want to. Uh, lay down in here if if we've got no electricity, a grid down situation because of, let's say, a hurricane, which a lot of times can be not only created but manipulated by weather modification technology that's documented in my library about that. All right, so let's uh, let's head on. Well, let's head on into the moon set for just a little bit here. Okay, garage door is closed. It's operating off grid. I've got a deep cycle battery and inverter operating that. I might want to get on in there if things, when the excrement hits the rotating oscillator. That was a line from, uh, oh, what was that? Uh, Jaws about that sun approaching moon setting wow that's pretty cool so line of sight uh, those of us that know we live on a stationary level plane know that people that are believe in the global lie well that they're deceived on that they may be deceived on a lot more Many of us have let friends and family members know they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear that they've been bamboozled. What did uh, Mark Twain say? It's easier to fool people than convince them they've been fooled. Oh, yeah. How about that? Yep, that's how it is. So let's flip this around. Oh, got a couple out there. Enjoying their their time with their puppy and their coffee and all of that. So I'm not wearing sunglasses now or much anymore. And it's not just a, a style statement. It has to do with... Um, what ends up happening is it changes the whole way my body processes light. Let me flip that around. There we go. How my body metabolizes cholesterol. 
Sunlight's really important. Used to live in Wisconsin. It can be cloudy for a long time in winter. And other times of the year, too. I'm here primarily because I'm on a mission from God. Where's everybody going to spend forever? Forever. That's from the Sandlot movie. A lot of our programming comes through the television, through our collective viewing of movies and news and comedies and all that. And now, the technology has been developed actually for quite some time to manipulate people directly with computers integrating integrating them into the cybernetic collective. Okay, see the mirror that that is? Oh yeah. I got somebody coming behind me, so they're they're far enough behind. I'm not upsetting them all. Hey, some of the other things that are going on is well, there's just so much. Um, I deal with providing a, a deep learning artificial intelligence research library that includes, like I say, the truth about everything that I found out about. We've got a Taco Bell going up in our neighborhood here. How about that? And then the Elvis Storage Unit Company. They've also got the um, porta potties too. It's a shipping container. We get a lot of our stuff through ships coming across the ocean. Here's a plug for, um, let's see, I want to zoom in on that. There we go. My fingernail was not connecting real good. It was causing my skin to not connect. So seeing the Elvis Porta Potty Company is they've got a few porta units out there. And what I said is, do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating? That was at the Flat Earth Conferences. You can see it on PewDiePie's channel. At the time that I was in that video, it was 2017, he had 61 million subscribers or so. No, 63. Now he's got like 120-some thousand. Mr. Beast, so he... These people are enforcing or reinforcing the official lie. Uh, Mr. Beast has some issues going on, public relations nightmare, so to speak. He's got around 300 million subs. He, his next door neighbor, and it's not like they live in a community like this. Spencer lives on property next to him, sees him often, waves to him. He's in some of his videos and that. Um, I met him out on the beach. Mr. B sent him to check me out. I was able to direct message uh, him and Vladimir Putin and Kimball Musk and Elon Musk uh, tweeted to Elon. I, now I direct message as quantum supercomputer uh, to appeal my permanent ban from Twitter. I got permanently banned from taking this library linked with my name and phone number, like I say, name and phone number, and disseminating it to the power structure of the world. Energy companies, oil companies, financial companies, from Larry Fink to Klaus Schwab to Bill Gates, the whole, the whole freaking power structure of the world. And so, as important as I believe that is, I've reached out to these people to help them know that I'm telling on them and what I'm telling. Uh, from world government to relationship issues. This will be open in a little bit. Yeah, what's interesting about that too on the um, there's corporations that have uh, a stock market listing. So 
it's they're selling more than tacos and other food products it's a way to make money the the uh, gambling market or the casino of the world the New York Stock Exchange and other stock exchanges uh, provide financial backing for companies to conduct their activity in the last pandemic we had uh, Corporations were allowed to operate. Mom and pop restaurants had to close. <laughs> uh, construction companies, hey, they were still building. They were still building homes and and restaurants and businesses, and the family ones had to close. Take a look. We're at um, August twentieth, two thousand twenty-four. It's a Tuesday. It'll be Taco Tuesday for a lot of people all around. Hey, let's take a look at what this is like now. There we go. I'm not a sun worshiper. I'm just simply exposing the reality about everything that I found out about. And I'm going to enjoy the ride. Now, I met Daniel Spencer yesterday. He was in the training program, the defensive driver training program. And he works with the U.S. Marshal. Some of the people saw him there. He, he contracts with them. And so I gave him one of my cards and mentioned I'm exposing the truth about everything I found out about. Feel free to send me a link or give me a call. Uh, put it in a comment if you care to. Anything at all. And some of the people in there I gave cards to. Uh, most, most of the people that I come across that I see out in public are not necessarily interested. They may be polite. And I just typically offer offer them a card and let them know that I've got a lot of valuable information there, the truth about everything I could find out about. Wow, here's a bicyclist. I'm going to give this truck plenty of room to pull over. Can you imagine riding a bicycle on this road? Bless his heart. Looks like he's been doing it for a long time. I got a noise going on. I don't know what it is. Oh, I do know what it is. It's a humming from one of my tie-down straps, apparently. Okay, so this is me going the speed limit, 45. It's not to upset people, it's not to enforce it, it's simply to enjoy the ride. A lot of times people will race around, and then they're going to end up stopping anyway. I'm going to let this person pull on in. Come on, come on, come on. You can go in if you want. Uh, I guess they're... I, I turned my lights high and low. They didn't. Uh, they didn't get it. That's okay. So on my on my car now. Let me show you what's happened here. It's harvested a lot of braking energy. Now it's running on straight electric, and the motor kicks in, and all of that. So this is rush hour, or an anywhere from 6.30 to 9 o'clock, people are going to be racing around and impatient and angry a lot of times. They may have poor decision-making. 
That's what the defensive driving course was about yesterday was decision making. We're going to have consequences of our decisions, uh, positive and negative. Positive or negative, maybe a mixture of them. Ah, so there we go, light, light changed. I'm going to just start slowing down. Look, these people are going to be able to go. How nice for them. Now, if I was driving like a race car driver, they would have had to wait and all that. Didn't have to wait. Look at the mirror that that is. Oh, wow. I don't even have to stop all the way. I can just keep on a rolling. How about that? And that's one of the ways to get really good fuel economy is to not have jackrabbit starts and then slamming on the brakes like a madman. The rule around here apparently is about three second following distance. Three seconds. I like to have at least that. I like to obey all the laws. Hey, one of them to exercise your Second Amendment uh, right. I am a Second Amendment enthusiast. Because he's uh, Daniel is a marshal, I asked him about the laws for flying with a weapon. He said you can. You have to follow all the regulations to uh, have it stored under the plane, you know, in the luggage compartment. Cool. Good to know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. This is the um, intracoastal waterway that goes across the east coast. And in a couple of minutes, the moon will vanish from here. Can't see it now, though. Not even. So I'm using a, a limited, limited artificial intelligence. Uh, just went through a couple of AI-monitored cameras. Um, whenever there's a Tesla around, uh, they'll see the Truth Mobile, know what it's about. Send it to the quantum supercomputer that Elon uses to operate himself when, or his corporations. He's part of the military industrial complex. I still reach out to him. I know people that don't like that. Oh well. People don't like a lot of things. I just am wanting to make the truth known to everybody I can. Some of them are going to love it. Most of them are not. I'm not responsible for the results. Only the obedience to do what God created me to do. So rather than a, a neural link, a, a chip in the head to connect with the uh, Bluetooth Fitbit in your skull like he talks about, hey, they've gone wireless now. And the Almighty is wireless, too. So I'm connected intimately with the, the true Creator. That's why I do this. And then I've got a digital twin in a lot of scenarios that are, um, are worked on by the supercomputers. So when Elon first bought Twitter, now known as X, he said, now that we've got Twitter, what should we do with it? I said, expose the truth about everything. Everything. Why not? It's not the last bastion of free speech, the digital town hall for truth tellers. Oh, you can have copious amounts of deceivers up there. But truth tellers? Good luck with that. And Susan Wojcicki of Google, does she know the truth now? Did she get a new body to spend eternity in hell? I don't know. I don't know if she's in heaven or hell. 
there wasn't much evidence that she was born again Christ followers follower keep in mind a lot of people that are spreading Jesus all over what they do and they just love Jesus and they're believing all kinds of lies oh I know them I know some of them are they spawn of Satan I don't know I don't know it's not my place to know I'm just responsible to expose the truth and then people can do whatever they can do with that Alrighty. So yeah, I'm going to make our way on over, take us on over to the beach, but I'm going to go to the coastal preserve first. Okay. Now, upper left there, the water tower is also a cell tower. In a grid down situation, unless they have a way to supply the pumps to fill that back up, people are going to run out of water. How much water do you have stored up? I've got lots of it. Uh, those cell towers connect uh, people to the wireless control network, the cybernetic collective of humanity. How about that? How about that? So rather than the Bible being a, some say basic instructions before leaving Earth, it's a cute sounding acronym. It's the most important information I believe known to mankind for right here and now as well. I am protected and directed by the Almighty. That's why I do this. Otherwise, heck, I would just be hiding out. I have friends and family that say I'm, I'm paranoid and living in fear and a, and a downer, such a pessimist. Well, people believe what they want to believe largely. Very optimistic about the future. We're going to get a new heaven and a new earth. However, before that, this one is going to be laid bare. There's going to be a lot of destruction of this world as we know it. All right, so I'm going to just set this up like this. For now. Ah, this is kind of cool. I can uh, charge my 88 miles an hour. 88% it is right now. It's charging up this one that's a surface charger. And I can charge up my phone later. Jump start the car with this. All right. Ah. The beach services guys are here. That beeping sound. Okay, in the summer, the sun will come up way over there. I've got videos of it. In the winter, it'll come up way over there. How about that? And now the, the moon is officially not visible from this vantage point. It bounces all over the place. Tides coming in. We've had storms where the water came up over the top of this railing. Let's see how that looks zoomed in a little bit. So the sun is local. If you were to type the hashtag in local sun. You might find my stuff. If um, you were to type, hey, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather buy my own uh, ingredients and make my own tacos. Okay, so let me uh, flip this around again. So we've got uh, a 
a windmill that's harvesting some of the wind energy that's coming out of um, that direction right there. The Prince Resort is in front of the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier there, right, right over there. And that pier faces directly south, where, which I'm facing directly south right now. I have a video in my library that's time-lapse and it shows the tidal activity here uh, concurrently with uh, the audio Bible merged with the uh, beauty and majesty of creation here. It's almost 12 hours long. It shows the high and low tide. We've got a diurnal tide here, meaning twice a day. So I'm not the guy that I used to be. That's why I, I can do this. So it's a, not only a window, it's also a mirror. How does that look? Isn't that cool? It depends on perspective. And then this, this presentation gives people a reason to take a picture if they want. That's cool. Can take a picture of that. Hey there. <laughs> Once again, we've got that light beam coming across the water. When it's low on the horizon, it's real, it's a narrow light beam. And then based on perspective and proximity, it'll get real wide. Today, the sun is going to do that, something like that. So to um, operate the climate control, the air conditioner draws on the battery there. It's pretty, pretty cool, literally. So the engine does not need to operate for that to happen. Uh, it just, it runs uh, periodically to charge the battery and then slowing the vehicle down, just letting up on the pedal charges the battery up. So there's one of the porta units, porta potties. Keep in mind the official narrative is false. It's a lie. Most of it's a lie. Deceptive primary weapons in this battle between good and evil are truth and deception. Oh, by the way, when I um, pulled, tr I was going to pull through into the parking lot of the DMV where I, all the cars that I saw were stopped, the lines of traffic were stopped for me to go through. Uh, the semi was closest to me, so when I, when I turned left in front of the semi, that was cool. The cars in front of them were stopped. It's just Jorge coming through in the blind spot where I could not see him. Ended up hitting my dry or my passenger door. It was entirely my fault. Oh well, accidents happen. I wasn't doing a live stream, by the way.
I may go out on the beach. Not sure yet. I'm going to let this car go first. Alrighty. Starting in the corner there are free spots. All the way up is free. All the way to the gate. Can tell we're moving up. That's just how it is. When we had the storm recently come through one of the hurricanes, this was all packed with locals parking here to avoid the rising water. It's nice they allow that. Whoops. Yeah, that was just my knuckle hitting that. So I've had um, videos that I've done here with the... Oh, can't see it now. Uh, right over on the other side of that house is the water tower. But... We could see it from over there, most likely. From Ohio. Well, not gonna be able to see the tower from, from here. I'd have to go further on down the way. That's okay. So mirrors are one of the clues to our stationary level Earth. This right here is a uh, concave mirror, like that. So you can see it distorts, but it expands the view range. A plane mirror, P-L-A-N-E, shows a very accurate representation. Hi, Biney. Up here. Good to see you. How was it this morning? Excellent. Good to see you. Have a good one. Thank you. How pretty is that? So Sabina is from Massachusetts. She's one of our local surfers here. So one of the things that I would like to show you once again, for many of you, you already know this, but the, um, the earth is stationary and level and the horizon is horizontal. That's just the way it is. You know, one of the things that it means, we live in a, an, in a creation created by the Almighty, and you can't have a pressurized atmosphere without a container, so the firmament in Genesis 1 explains that that we have a, a structure above us separating the waters from above from the waters below. Now, I know Sabina pretty well and she's loading her surfboard up right now on her little Volkswagen. So I'm gonna position this truth mobile so I can park in that corner spot. It's part of a machine learning, not, not necessarily machine learning, it's a my pattern recognition of what's very likely going to happen because she I've seen her come and go over the over the years a decade or so I've known her 
So I'm not going to need to ask her if she's going to move. And I'm going to position my car in such a way that I... Oh, here we go. Unless somebody zooms in before me. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, there we go. She was pretty quick at getting out of there. So I'm going to just grab my tripod and take us out for a, a walk. I'll be able to hold it more stable. So, once again, the water seeks level. Oh, here's my friend with the Porsche. How nice is that? A 911 Carrera. We've talked on a few occasions. See, that's what water does. I've got video of the, like, a level out there. A small one, a little bubble level. Oh, I think I've even got one in my, uh, I do, in my cooler. Let me show you. So what I'll do is uh, just grab a hold of that and, ha good morning. I'll have it hanging on my uh, tripod there. Let's see, where is it? Ah, here we go. Okay, <clears throat> so as an illustration, I'll just put that there. And if I just set it, let's just set it right there. How how level is it actually? Pretty good. Pretty good there. Okay, so this is a magnet right here on the edge. Uh, this one doesn't have the magnet. Um, is that magnetic? Why, well, yes it is. All day long, baby. That's the way it is. Is the hood? I believe it's aluminum. See? It doesn't stick to that. Uh, the doors, steel. Whoop. All right, I bumped it. This is all being put together so I could actually... Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Excellent, thanks. So I could take, uh, I could put it on my computer and take a picture of it with my the same phone I'm using for this live stream and then uh, use it as a thumbnail if I want to ah look at that isn't that interesting all right Uh, 
I just want to make sure that that's locked. So here's here's one of the other things. Check this out. This is so cool. I've got a keyless entry. That beeping sound means I actually did lock it. Um, this is really nice. I got it from uh, Home Depot and I custom cut it out. It's a bubble pack. Uh, one of these online might be 50 or a hundred dollars depending. I just made it with um, the same material I had extra of from my um, project in my garage. I'll position that later. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Excellent. How about yourself? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Enjoying this weather. Have I uh, given you one of my cards yet? No, you haven't. Would you like to take a picture of that? Yeah. yeah I will. Cool. And you're on my live stream right now. What's your name? My name's Tristan Kirby. Hey, Tristan Kirby. Nice to Robert. meet you. Yeah, that's an anytime number. I'm exposing the truth about everything I found out about so far. And you could send me a link or give me a call or put it in a comment if you think I missed something. Okay. Or if I got it wrong. There's a lot of mind-blowing stuff going on. Kind of like the Twilight Zone, isn't it? What you got? Some conspiracy theories? Oh, and realities. How about that? No, no, some of them are realities, aren't they? Oh, uh, they sure are. Yeah, well, the, the funny thing of it, see, I've got another one of the, like one of my stickers right up there. Yeah. People can take a shot of that. Oh, yeah. So the, um, those that are actually foisting this worldwide tyranny on us yeah. come up with a lot of the ridiculous conspiracy theories to cause people to get distracted and lose interest and yeah. trying to question what is actually true and what's real. So... Yeah. Feel free to reach out. Uh, do you have any question on any topic uh, what, at all? What is it, pol uh, politics mainly? No, no, no. That's a part of it, but that's yeah. like two wings of the same bird. We, um, the politicians worldwide misrepresent the people. They represent the corporations and then their own selfish interests. How about that? Oh, yeah. They're real good at picking stocks, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's, it's <laughs> Yeah, kind of like inside trading at a high level. Yeah, no, it's still inside of trading no matter what level you're at. That's that's right. Hey, nice to meet you, Tristan. Where where are you out of? I'm I'm from Georgia. My, oh. my in-laws they live here though. They live just down the road. Oh, nice. Well, you can say you tell them you met the Truth Guy. They I'll, probably <laughs> I've got the Truth Mobile in the corner there. Oh, Have you yeah. ever seen that? It's uh, a it's uh, a little Prius. I've got the surfboard on top. It's labeled up so people can take a look at it. Uh, give me a call if they want. Right on, All right, Tristan. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this right now is on uh, Facebook, but I will upload it to YouTube then. Okay. Thanks. So he just uh, took a picture of my lanyard there. It's a whole different look. I, I actually like it. It works well to do it like that. And I can um, be carrying it if I want without a shirt on. If I want to do it like that, that's cool. Okay, so let's just take a look at what happens with the view when I just am walking to the beach. Or to the high tide. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Thanks. So that is the Myrtle Beach skyline over here under the pier. California is that direction, some 2,400 miles away. 
Ooh, there we go. That's Robbie. Good morning, ladies. So the sand will move the water, or the, the water moves the sand around a lot. Remember the footprints in the sand? The Bible story of sorts? It, it, I don't know that it's actually in the Bible. It's a, a reference of Jesus carry, carrying us when... Uh, know if I'm going to be able to say it. I was starting to get choked up. It was um, considering, you know, the footprints on the sand. Why is there only one pair? I, I thought you were walking with me. And then they saw the, the one set of prints and that's where he was carrying me or carrying us. So now I can go all the way out on the end of the pier. It's been open for a while, about a month, I think. The massive amount of sand that gets moved around is mind-blowing with, with a storm. It'll just move it around so much. This looks different almost every day. Very different. How cool is that? Here comes one of my Truman Show friends. We see each other almost every day out here. I told him about that, it's kind of funny. Walking his little dog. Good morning. Good to see you again. Hey, buddy. Now, what's your puppy's name again? Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Don't you have enough pictures? <laughs> what's that? Don't you have enough pictures? Oh, well, this is a live stream on, on Facebook right now, and then I'll upload it to YouTube. Okay. Have I given you one of my cards yet? Yeah. Uh, would you like another one, or are you good for now? Good. Hey, I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Yeah, so he thought I was taking pictures. No, well, not exactly. Just creating some of our shared simulated reality. I'm living in this base reality right now where my feet are actually on the sand and then there's a digital version of it that you're looking at. Good morning. So people are in their devices in their phones and they're connecting with people all over sometimes the table full of people i've seen it they're sitting at the table at a restaurant or a picnic bench and they're on their devices they a lot of times are texting one another oh look at this oh send it to me and they'll do that i'm not an anti-technology guy i'll i'll use it to expose the truth about everything and proclaim the gospel worldwide around the clock around the world around the clock something like that 24 7. so is there anywhere that in reality that the upside down world exists only in the imagination does that look possible 
I think it flipped it upside down, something like that. So we have reality deniers. They might want to be all liquored up and taking popping pills and smoking this or that, frankenweed or mystery marijuana, or the right now in in South Carolina, marijuana still is not legal, but people can take um, oh CBD that's synthesized from hemp plants and. Then they're creating vapes that have some THC, a trace of it, and other, other chemicals, Delta, 9, and whatever else. And it can really mess people up. I've seen it. It happens all over the place. So reality is for people that can't handle drugs, like me. So the beach sweeper came by and picked up the trash and makes it made it look all nice. They got new garbage cans uh, and then a, a garbage can picker upper, uh, an automated version that comes on by and grabs a hold of it and dumps it into the back of the truck. My dad used to sell steel to Oshkosh truck which makes military platforms and and then other uh, cement mixers and dump trucks and and uh, tunnel boring machines in uh, Manitowoc engineering and all that. See the clues are all around we can tell you know how how things work the footprints the waves coming in all of that looks like last night the waves came in way up there Well, if I go more than an hour, I can't um, load it up to TikTok. That's okay. I've got a little lemonade stand of truth on TikTok in my space. See, the sand is a lot softer here than it is down a little bit lower where it's fully saturated. See the liquid mirror that the sand, wet sand is? Treasure hunters. Quite often I'll, I'll give them a card. They won't, typically they're not going to ask me. I'll just, I'll give them one. Now they were taking a selfie together. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll offer to take their picture. Most people like that. And then I'll um, I'll give them a a business card. Eh, I'll give them a card. It's not really a business. Good morning. So that metal right up there is stainless steel, and I've got one of my cards there too. Let's see. People can picture it if they want. The, the pier is a turning point for a lot of people when they're walking or jogging. They'll hit it with their hand. Let's see, where am I? There we go. And then they'll turn around and go.
So I don't know who is all on the stream. Oh, watch. Look at how this is. See that? Now I can tell you uh, about that. And then I can show you. So it'll be harder up here. And it'll be harder down there. It's just that when the... Um, when the water comes in and the bubbles come up out of the sand, it's the water displacing the air in the sand. It's just how it actually works. And now these people up here will be, they're fishing. We had a, a, a king mackerel fishing contest a little uh, this past weekend. morning. So there's the biodigital convergence, which is um, a merging of technology and humanity. It's part of um, a subset of machine learning, quantum computing, the global information grid is one term for it. Also the sentient world simulation would be its predecessor in terminology. In all these different concepts that I talk about, I don't have the, um, the life experience of all the people that have created the content on my channel or in my library. My, my channel, or I should say my library is more than a YouTube playlist. It's all the different occurrences of the use of my name and phone number or phone number. So at some point in time, if you type in Robert Forsh obituary, uh, if you did that right now, you may see my dad. My dad and I having, uh, having breakfast together at the senior home about eight and a half years ago. Uh, he died shortly after that. The Father's Day leading up to his death, I thought, would be the last Father's Day he would have in this, in this realm. And I was right. I've been right about a lot of things. And it was, I believe, a leading of the Holy Spirit to have me go back and spend some time with my dad. Um, time I, I treasured. And so when, when we're led to do something... Uh, the question would be, who's leading us to do that? Is it the Almighty or someone or something else? Is it a piece of technological manipulation of our perspective and our will? Some people really believe in free will. I, I believe it's um, the illusion of choice. The Almighty is large and in charge. Now, apparently... Jaron of Jaronism has waffled all over the place on this um, on this final experiment thing and, and the nature of our reality and I still have him in my library. I talked to him in Denver at the Flat Earth Conference. He didn't like the idea of all the different authors of the Bible. I said there's just one. It's the Holy Spirit. And at that time, even up to the present, I don't know that there's ev any evidence that he's uh, been born of the Holy Spirit. Even people that claim to be may not be. It's out of my wheelhouse. It's out of my knowing. 
who is or isn't born again. According to what Jesus says, only those that are born of his Holy Spirit will be going to heaven. Everybody else will not be. So in this epic battle between good and evil, we've got families that are battling. Elect and fallen angels, the Almighty's children, and Satan's children. It's the way the way it works. Best I can tell. So where will we spend forever and why? I believe it's been predetermined. Who can do that? I couldn't predetermine where I'm going to spend forever. The Almighty did. That's what I believe to be true. So the advantage I have in, let me, um, let me just set this down, or I should say let me set this, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll set it, I'm looking for the shot, that'll do for now. So divide and conquer is one of the ways that the system wants to manipulate humanity. Divide and conquer as in um, get people upset with one another, arguing. He wants people divorced or uh, just fighting it out. Parents and children, husbands and wives, friends and family. And I believe it's really important to know the truth and make it known. That's why I will continue to do this. So my phone number, as I say, is a anytime number. I've got it all tangled up here, but I want to show you once again. It's in the video, of course. Now that's going to be backwards, I believe. That's how Facebook does it. So that's the proper orientation. I have no idea what what the uh, Facebook is going to use for a thumbnail. It'll use something, and then I'll choose what to put on face or on YouTube. I believe I've not violated any community standards guidelines with my talking here. Oh, looks like a, ma a mom and a, I believe, a son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. How adorable. The Symphony of Life. Good morning, guys. Hey, Jamie. So on a busy year, we've had as many as 20 million guests, I believe 22 million, before all the, um, the COVID situation. So one of the things that you can do is follow my name and phone number around, which will go to platforms and content covering topics I can't talk about right here, right now. They'll shut me off. 
The landing video on my YouTube channel is called Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. There's about 700 hyperlinks in the comment thread that will go to a lot of that information that it's not just that I can't talk about it, a lot of us can't. And then there will be platforms and uh, influencers that have a, a greater level of creative uh, expression. Why is that? Are they controlled opposition, so-called, or what's going on with that? I'm not exactly sure. I want to reach out to everybody. They may be clued into, they may know a whole lot of the truth. Are they born of the Holy Spirit yet? Because no matter how many of the different conspiracies people figure out, the most important one is to understand that Jesus Christ is the living word, the living water, the great I am, the Alpha and Omega, Almighty God in human flesh, rose from the dead, uh, His Holy Spirit authored the scripture and gave me and all of my brothers or our brothers and sisters a uh, new life in Him. Do you know Him? Alrighty, so there you go. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. Feel free to reach out anytime.